This is your basic helicopter. You got a rotor system on top. This one has four rotor blades on it. Those blades spin, and they spin because there's two engines that are driving that rotor system. This is an uh, Allison C20B engine. It's at 420 horsepower, and it weighs 160 pounds. Pretty damn good horsepower to weight ratio. And these jet engines drive a shaft, and that shaft goes forward, goes into this transmission. As it's spinning, it turns that rotor system. If you're at a hover, let's say, and, and you want to turn left at a hover, you'd push left pedal like this. This blade right here would twist. It would push the tail that way or pull the tail this way. It counteracts the torque of the main rotor blades on top. And you push the right pedal, and the nose of the helicopter goes to the right. This is the collective pitch. I'm, I'm moving it up and down. This lever right here. What it does, it collectively increases the angle of attack on all the blades. This one is called a cyclic stick. It twists the blades too, but it does it individually. When I move it left or right or backwards or forwards, that makes me move any direction I want in a hover. But that's done by twisting one blade and the spinnings at a time at a given location. So we've got three axes of rotation here. We've got pitch, roll, and yaw. Really, the only thing that's touching the helicopter is your butt. Both your feet are moving, both your hands are moving. It's a real fluid motion while you're sitting there in the helicopter flying. The ability to be able to float away and go anywhere you want, I just really liked that freedom. It really changed my life, literally. Every time I go flying, it's a fun experience, and it's always exciting, and it's always new. I'm doing this for 37 years, and I'm still having a ball. How much better can life be than that?